Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Reese with This, That, and the Third, and I am here at a book signing with none other than Miss Selena Johnson. Okay, so she's here promoting her new book, The Wait Is Over, and last night I actually got a chance to check her out at City Winery, and the show was amazing. Thank you. Like, I've never seen you perform before, mm -hmm. but I love your voice. Thank you. It's so sultry. It's so meaningful. You just feel it. Thank you. And I watched you take us back, and then you brought us forward. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really like an unplug, you know, MTV unplug yeah. kind of thing. And you read different excerpts from your book, mm -hmm. and then you sang a song that was related to that chapter. Mm -hmm. My two favorite was Cut My Hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I do remember you used to have this long, thick, beautiful hair, right? Yeah, well. But I'm loving it. I'm loving <laughs> it's it. It's growing back. Right. I'm, I'm about to let it, it just go. Um, but yeah. the song was so meaningful because I do remember hearing somebody say the energy. You carry energy in your hair. So mm. sometimes when women cut that hair, it's like they're starting over. Right. And so to hear the, the story behind that, um, just tell us a little bit through that journey. Um, how did you get to that place of peace? Well, you know, cutting your hair, you know, we're very, very attached to our hair. Mm -hmm. Women, it's also, it's like a, a piece of our beauty. Mm -hmm. So to cut it off is freedom. Mm -hmm. It says that I'm not beholden to anything. Um, that I'm beautiful no matter what. Um, it, it is a, a, it is the first step, not, and not, it doesn't have to be the first step for everyone, but it was my first step to self-love. Mm -hmm. It was my first step of just kind of cutting myself from anything that kept kept me captive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in a negative way. Right. And I'm, and and for me, um, I actually didn't cut my hair until I got pregnant with my second child. I cut it. Well, actually, I cut it off um, when I was in a, a first turbulent relationship that started chapter one. But then I cut it off again. Okay. And every time I notice when I cut my hair. It's a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of that old energy. Yes, and bringing in new and, and letting new grow in. Yes. And however long that takes. Takes. Not rushing. Even hanging. harder. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> right. So you at the book sign you talked about the weight and just the weight of the world almost mm -hmm. and just the pressures of life yeah. and stuff like that. Not necessarily your physical mm -hmm. um, weight. In the I don't know if it's the second chapter, but when you talked about your motherhood. Mm -hmm. um, and you sang the song Wild Horse. Mm -hmm. Wild Horses. It's a Rolling Stone record. Originally, Rolling Stones did mm -hmm. Wild Horses. Mm -hmm. Amazing song. Okay. It's been redone over and over again. The, the version that I like is by the Sundays. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the one I did. And with this song, um, you related to your son um, and his diagnosis of being autistic. Mm -hmm. um, as a mother, and I'm a mother of twin boys, mm -hmm. and I just. When you have boys and you look at the world, you just you just really become really protective mm -hmm. of our boys. How has that journey been for you? Because I know it's an ongoing journey. Well, it's like you said, when you're a mom, there is an instinct, innate urge to protect. Mm -hmm. um, wild horses couldn't drag me away. Nothing could drag me away from my children. Nothing. Um, meaning psychologically, emotionally, and mentally. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, I can be in two different places at the same time, um, but as far as my love for them, my tenacity for them, my goal for them, they are, you know, they're not my why, but they're my goal, mm -hmm. you know? And so, um, I, I just think that as, uh, to, to, uh, to be able to relate to parents, I felt like that was the most important record, you know, to kind of connect. Yeah connect the dots with them. And because the, the, the hook is so is so powerful, wild horses yeah. couldn't drag me away. away. <laughs> and wild horses are strong. Yeah, I know. You know they can drag anybody away. Um, but not even wild horses. You know, I wanted to show that parallel between parenting and um, that analogy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, like for me, Parenting is an ongoing journey. It's, it's growth every day. Every like, day. I'm growing right now as a mother. Yeah. Right here, standing here talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm growing. Um, I, I grew when you had came up to me and said, my son, and I went through this as well, and um, your son has the developmental disorders, and or not even disorders, developmental challenges, yeah. and how that um, <clears throat> affected you. Right there, I had growth too. Because it shows me I'm not alone. Yeah, yes. I'm not alone. So get over yourself sometimes. Right, you right. 
um, not in a bad way, but it's okay. Yeah, it's not just It's you. okay, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do it. This person that you're talking to is doing it. Right. We all do. Exactly. You know, so yes. Um, as this is your first book mm -hmm. being published, how has this journey as becoming a new author been for you? It's inspiring. It does make me want to write more books mm -hmm. and say more things. This book taught me that I have a lot to say. Mm. Um, this particular book is secular to one concept, okay. but there's so many things that I could speak of. Mm. And this book taught me how to trust myself to be able to give counsel. In the middle of the book, sometimes you feel like, well, who am I to say that? Wow. You know, mm -hmm. what makes me the expert? I will tell you, experience. Mm -hmm. um, experience has taught me a lot, and I can impart that experience as healing for others. Yeah. God mm -hmm. created us for service. My purpose is to live this life to be able to help others. Mm -hmm. That's all of our purpose, low key, at the mm -hmm. end of the day. You doing this, that, and the third, which is one of my favorite sayings, by the way. I say so it sister circle all the time. <laughs> um, and I've been saying it all my life, you know. But you doing this is growth. It's giving others something to find healing from, to educate them, to give them inspiration, to motivate them. You're giving a service. Mm -hmm. You are here. You're planted here to do that. We're all planted here to do that. You know? Yes. Yeah. We have a purpose. Yes. Everybody. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Everybody is on purpose. Yeah. To to portray their purpose. Completely. Oh, yes. Uh, and now speaking of the sister circle, new show. Mm -hmm. Love it. Watch it. So in love with it. Love all you ladies. I just like the mix and I, it's funny because around the time you guys started, I was saying like we need something else. Something's missing. We need because you know you have the view, you have the real, you have different shows. And they're great, but it, something was still missing for us, yes. right? And so you doing the sisters to circle. Um, how has that been? How has that process been? That journey been? Do you like being a host? I love being a host. It's service. Mm -hmm. I love to serve. First of all, that's fun. Right. It's fun to me. Okay. Number two, look at God. He put me in an ensemble of women that I absolutely adore. Mm -hmm. I adore them. And my makeup and hair and our glam and our producers are phenomenal. And I don't mean like so talented. That's a given because right. you see the product. Yeah. What they are is good people. Mm -hmm. God has blessed me to be in an environment with good people. Just good old fashioned good people. Now, we make mistakes. Yeah. We off the chain at times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we, we turn it up. But nobody is, a, is dark. No dark clouds. No Good. darkness. And mm -hmm. this, I'm talking about, he put us in a room full of light. Oh, I, I he put me in a room full of light. And I am just, I, and I can see everywhere I need to go. That's awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a breath of fresh air. Um, I deserve it. Mm -hmm. The ladies that I work with deserve it. Yeah. And we are so blessed because Sister Circle is an all black female talk show platform that is live every day, giving our people exactly what they want mm -hmm. and exactly what they need from the people that look like them. Exactly. My God, look at God. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, won't he do it? Yeah. Yes, he will. Okay. <laughs> won't he? So, she's a host, a singer, an author. Hot yoga instructor. I do. Hello, you said somebody. that. Okay. <laughs> a mom. All these things. When's your next album? It's coming. Mm. I'm recording. I'm actually on my way to the studio after okay. this to record some more. Okay. But I'm about 60% done. It's coming in the new year. It's, it's coming, coming in the second quarter. New beginnings, new things. I did new a new book. song the other night. Last night. Never Been Better. The very last record. Last song. Mm -hmm. That's one of the songs on the new album. And it's a banger, okay? Mm -hmm. So you all be sure to follow her, keep up with her, watch the Sister Circle, and stay in tune because we have a lot of hot things coming from Miss Selena Johnson.